திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் புழியர்கோன் எப்பொழுத்த புகழியர்கோன் கடல் போற்றி ஆழிமசை கல் மதப்பில் அணைந்து பிரான் அடி போற்றி வாழி திரு நாவலூர் வன்றொண்டர் பதம் போற்றி ஊழிமலை திருவாத ஓரர் திருத்தாள் போற்றி திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி சீயிங் திருப்புகழ் சாங் லாஸ்ட் டைம் வி ஹேட் சீன் முத்தை திரு சாங் ஆஃப் அருணகிரிநாதர் அண்ட் டுடே வி வில் சி உனைத்தினம் தொழுதிலன் சாங் so last time when we talked we talked about arunagirinathar's uh, life history briefly so arunagirinathar after he became a, after he was saved by muruga and he was uh, given the upadesham to remain quiet he was in nishtai for some time and then muruga appeared and uh, asked him to sing his praises and he started singing with muthai taru and later on he goes on a pilgrim uh, pilgrimage tour to various temples and as part of his uh, pilgrimage tour he comes to a place called tiruparangundram tiruparangundram is a famous uh, temple uh, it's about uh, 10 kilometers from uh, madurai so next time when you go to madurai you can uh, consider going to tiruparangundram it is uh, you know there are six temples that are typically considered as uh, very special temples for uh, subramanya and tiruparangundram is one of them so tiruchandur is one palani is another tiruparangundram uh, swami malai tirutani so these are all uh, some of the famous temples for subramanya so tiruparangundram temple uh, it's a subramanya temple but actually it's a Uh, like all temples of subramanya or most shiva temples will have subramanya sanadhi as well so this tiruparangundram also has a shiva temple inside so this is so old that uh, even sambandar and sundarar and tirunavagarasar they all have been to this temple and we have padigams of uh, sambandar and sundarar on shiva of tiruparangundram temple so this is such a old such an old temple and such a famous temple so in this place when uh, arunagirinathar comes he has sung several tripur songs there are many songs on this thalam and one of them is the song that we are going to see today and we are considering this because tomorrow as we discussed earlier tomorrow is the adi krithigai this year and there's a major subramanya festival and uh, you know i was looking at the origin of this adi krithi festival and uh, why etc the only thing i could find out was that it is a uh, the krithige nakshatram that occurs on beginning of dakshinayanam you know the in the middle of january is when uttarayanam starts and uh, this middle of uh, july is when dakshinayanam starts so adi krithi is the krithige nakshatram uh, that comes in the beginning of dakshinayanam and there are several major uh, uh, subramanya festivals adi krithige is one uh, we know all know about kanda shashti that comes f- about 6 days after deepavali and tai posam in january february time frame then uh, similarly you know masi magam panguni uttaram vaigasi visagam these are all special days for subramanya so like that tomorrow is adi krithige this year so with that background uh let's uh, go into the verse and uh, uh, maybe murthy you can uh, repeat after me in the beginning and uh, then uh, rama you can uh, say it at the end okay so again uh, in the uh, uh, as we discussed last time with tripugar songs the syllabic pattern is uh, very important if you get the hang of saying the syllabic pattern you will be able to recite the verse in the same pattern easily so in the same manner we will first repeat the syllabic pattern that is at the top of this uh, section tanatta tandana tanadana tanadana tanatta tandana tanadana tanadana தனத்த தந்தன தனதன தனதன தனதான சோ வில் ரிப்பீட் சே தி ஹோல் பேட்டர்ன் இன் ஒன் ஷாட் 
Tanatta tandana tana dana tana dana tanatta tandana tana dana tana dana tanatta tandana tana dana tana dana tana dana good with that we will uh, uh, what i will do is that first i would uh, give you uh, because uh, you know uh, if i say the whole thing in the same pattern you will be able to say it i think let's see unai tinantoru dilan unadi elbinai can you say the whole thing first line unai tinantoru dilan unadi okay let me do this that's tough let me go to the second section of the ver- verses i have given with word separation i'll give you word by word that way you will be able to get it unai tinam toru dilan No, let's do this okay that will be tough because uh, it'll go because the words are not familiar to you right now it will be difficult for you to repeat let's go to the second section of the verses where i have given the word separation okay unai tinam tholidilan unadi yelbinai urai tilan பல மலர்கோடு உன் அடி இணை உரப்பணிந்திலன் ஒரு தவம் இளன் உனது அருள் மாறா உளத்துள் அன்பினர் உறைவிடம் அருகிலன் விருப்போடு உன் சிகரமும் வளம் வருகிலன் ஒப்போடு உன் புகழ் துதிசய விழைகிலன் மலைபோலே ஸோ வாட் யூ ஹவ் ரெட் ஸோ ஃபார் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் லைன் ஒன் ஆஃப் த சாங் first line of the verse this is a four line verse we have completed the first line all tripur songs are mostly very very long lines so we are moving to the second line kanaitu yelum pagadadu pidar misai varu karutha venchina maralithan உழையினர் கதித்து அடர்ந்து எரி கயிறு அடு கதை கொடு பொறுபோதே கலக்கு உரும் செயல் ஒழிவு அற அழிவு ஊறு கருத்து நைந்து அலமுறு பொழுது அளவைகொள் கணத்தில் என் பயமர மயில் முதுகினில் வருவாயே half the song now. the first half is about what he about him and these things second half is about murugan and his greatness vinay talandanil can you repeat vinay talandanil alagaigal kudigola alagaigal kudigola விழுக்கு உடைந்து மெய் உகு தசை கழுகு உண விரித்த குஞ்சியர் எனும் அவுணரை 
அமர்புரி வேலா மிகுத்த பண்பயில் குயில்மொழி அழகிய கொடிச்சி குங்கும முலை முகடு உழு நரை விரைத்த சந்தன மிருகமத புயவரை உடையோனே தினத்தினம் சதுர்மறை முனி முறைகொடு புனல் சொரிந்து அலர் பொதிய வினவரோடு சினத்தை நிந்தனை செய்யும் முனிவர தொழ மகிழ்வோனே தெனத்தெனந்தன என வரியளி நரை தெவிட்ட அன்போடு பருகு உயர் பொழில் திகழ் திருப்பரங்கிரிதனில் உரை சரவண பெருமாளே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபுல் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ வில் ஐ வில் ரிப்பீட் வித் ஐ வில் ஐ வில் சே த ஹோல் வேர்ட்ஸ் இந்த ரிதமிக் பேட்டர்ன் so that you get the uh, see how it sounds and how we have to say it together unaitte nandolu dilanona diyalvinai uraitte lanbala malar godu nadiyani urappa nindilan oru dava milanona darul mara ulattul anbinar uraivada marigilan viruppadun siga ramum valam varugilan oppadun pugal thudisaya vilaigilan malai pole கனைத்த எழும்பக டதுபிடர் மிசைவரு கருத்த வெஞ்சின மரளிதன் உழையினர் கதித்த அடர்ந்தறி கயிறடு கதை கொடு பொறுபோதே கலக்குறுஞ்சயில் ஒழிவர அழிவுறு கருத்து நைந்தல முறுபொழு தளவைகொள் கணத்தில் என்பய மரமயில் முதுகினில் வருவாயே வினைத்தலந்தனில் அலகைகள் குதிகொள விழுக்குடைந்துமை உகுதசை கழுகுண விரித்த குஞ்சியர் எனுமவு நரையமர் புரிவேலா மிகுத்த பண்பயில் குயில்மொழி அழகிய கொடிச்சி குங்கும முலைமுக டுழுநரை விரைத்த சந்தன மிருகமத புயவரை உடையோனே தினத்தினஞ்சதுர் மறைமுனி முறைகோடு பல புனச்சொறிந்தலர் பொதிய வினவரோடு சினத்தை நெந்தனை செய்யுமுனி வரதொழ மகிழ்வோனே தினத்தனந்தன எனவரி அழிநரை தெவிட்ட அன்போடு பருகுழிய பொழுதிகள் திருப்பரங்கிரி தனிலுரை சரவண பெருமாளே but you get the hang of it okay so what we will do now is that we will go look at the meaning because once we understand the phrases and the words and the meaning you will see the beauty of this song and at the end we will listen to a, a, a musical rendering of this song so we start with the uh, phrases so in this song at a high level what arunagirinathar is saying he is listing out what how devotees worship muruga right there are various actions of devotion that devotees do we know that right we go to the temples we do parayanam of his uh, sahasranamam or uh, we go and uh, do meditation so various things we do as a devotion acts of devotion so in this verse Arunagirinathar is listing out seven such acts of devotion that devotees do. And he says, as Arunagirinathar says that he himself has not done any of these things. And when the, uh, at the end of our life, when Yama and his servants come to take our life away, it's a very miserable time. very painful event and all the saints have sung about the uh, difficulties distress that we face at the time of death 
so he is describing the uh, arrival of uh, servants of yama the lord of death and how they will attack him and how they will take away his life and he says when that happens o muruga please come and save me and then that is the first half and in the second half he is talking about subramanya's greatness you know uh, the fact that uh, how he was fighting the asuras and uh, how he married valli and uh, and then the fa- final part is that how beautiful that tiruparangiri tiruparangundram is and says that oh lord of tiruparangundram come save me that is the one minute summary of this song before we go into the phrases and meanings any comments questions that you have okay so in this we will go line by line the first thing he is saying is unai thinam tholudilan tholudal means to worship unai thinam tholudilan means i have not worshiped you daily you know one of the acts of devotion is it we pray daily we worship daily so he says it i don't pray daily that's his first statement unai dinam tholudilan so dinam is the sanskritam word but in this song because of the meter and because of the sound effects and because of tamil sandhi the da becomes ta unai dinam tholudilan the next phrase he says is unadu yelbinai uraitilan what that means is that you know i don't speak of your qualities uraitil means to speak ilan means i have not done so the ilan will come again and again and again in the first seven or eight lines of this uh, print out so ilan means i have not done so unai dinam tholudu ilan i have not worship prayed you day i have not i don't pray daily i don't worship you daily that's the first one unadu yelbinai uraitilan yelb is qualities uraitil means to say to speak so i don't talk about your qualities pala malargodu un adi yenai ura panindilan malar is flower pala malar is many flowers adi yenai is adi is feet adi yenai is two feet so what he is saying is that i have not worshiped your two holy feet with many flowers pala malar godu with many flowers un adiyina your holy feet urap panindilan i have not worshiped that is the third one so the fourth one he says is oru tavam ilan tavam is sanskritam word tapas what what is tapas in sanskritam is what comes as tavam in tamil oru tavam ilan i have not done any tapas so that is the fourth one and the fifth one he says unadu arul mara ulatul anbinar uraividam arigilan <coughs> anbinar means bhaktas anbi is love anbinar is bhaktas devotees ulam is heart or mind ulatul anbinar means devotees who have true love for you in their hearts and how are they they always receive his grace unadu arul mara arul in tamil is the daya in sanskritam or karuna so unadu arul mara means the devotees who always have your grace those devotees who are such deep love for you in their hearts their uraivada marigilan i don't even know where they live right it's one thing to say that you know i am not moving with your devotees but he is going on extra step and em- emphatically saying that i don't deal i don't belong in your community of devotees i don't says i don't even know where your devotees live and then next one he says is viruppodu un sigaramum valam varigilan 
Sikaram is the Sanskrit word again. Sikaram. Which means the mountain. Or the, you, know the, you know that in uh, South, Subramanya temples are mostly on hilltops. Every place, wherever there is a small hill, there will be a Subramanya temple on top. That's very common. And that's why you have Tirutani as an example. Right? Tirutani is a hill. Swami Malai, again a hill. Um, near Coimbatore, there is a place called Marudha Malai, which is a hill. And Tiruparangundram, which is again a hill. So, you will find Subramanya temples on many hills in the south. So, what he is saying is, Virupodu, Virupu means with desire, with love. Virupodu, Un Sigaramam, your peak. What does it mean? The peak, the, the hill on which we have Subramanya temple. And he is talking about that. Virupodu, Un Sigaramam, Valam Varigilan. Valam Varadal means to do Pradakshanam. So in Sanskritam we call it Pradakshanam to go around a temple or to go around, right? We circumambulate the Sanidhi or Swami or uh, great people. So that circumambulation is called Pradakshanam in Sanskritam but in Tamil it's called Valam Varadal. So what he is saying is I don't even go around your you know, I, with, with love in my heart, I don't go around your hill temples. Uvapodu un pugal tudisaya virayilan. Uvapu means joy. With joy, un pugal, your praise, your greatness, your fame. Tudisaya means to praise Viraigalan. I don't even seek to. I don't even think of doing it. So what he is saying is, I don't even think of praising your glory with joy. Forget about doing it. He says, I don't even think about doing it. So he is outlining seven things he does not do. The devotees typically do one or more of these things. And he says that he has not done any of them. And then he is going to talk about the Yama's uh, servants coming and uh, killing him and how Murugan should come and save him. And then he is going to talk about other things of Subramanya. So this is the first part of the song. Any thoughts, comments, questions on this first part? Okay. So, go ahead. Okay, what I was going to say was that there are some things we know and some things that, you know, are obvious and some things which may not be that obvious. So, the fact that he talks about, you know, he doesn't uh, pray daily, he doesn't uh, talk about his qualities, he doesn't worship him with flowers, he doesn't do any tapas, all that are easily understood because we know that these are all common things. But then, he also says, Two or three other things in the list. One of the Arul Mara Ulatul Anbinar Uraivida Marigalan, which means I don't even know where your devotees live. So this one is very important. This is uh, it is known as otherwise it's uh, commonly known in uh, Indian languages as Satsangam. That is being in the company of devotees. Being in the company of devotees is very important because that company will lead us to greatness. That will lead us to liberation. That will make us evolve but to a higher level of spiritual plane. So that is very important and people always say that be in the company of good people. Which means here it means being in the company of devotees. Because you know they say there is strength in company right? They generally say if there are there's strength in company in a common um, Logic, you know, in ordinary life. But here, there is strength in the company of devotees. Because when Shiva comes to bestow his grace on any devotee, if you are near the devotee, we will get it. So in uh, Puranam, 
we have several stories of devotees who have had intense devotion to other devotees and how they got salvation because of that for example in periya puranam we all know about the story of tirunavakara sir who was a, one of the four saints of saiva acharyas of that we know about and there was a another devotee in a in a place about uh, 200 km away from tirunavakara sir's town his name was appudi and he was a uh, brahmin he had a wife and children and li- living a normal life of a brahmin at the, of those days but what he did was when he heard about tirunavakara's uh, greatness that he was persecuted by the jains and he was uh, tried to be at- you know they tried to kill him and they finally they tried a rock and throw him into a sea and with shiva's grace the stone floated and tirunavakara sir reached the land safely and he has been singing shiva's glory and he is a great servant of shiva so when he heard all this greatness of tirunavakara sir appu the adigal became is disciple mentally he mentally said that tirunavakara sir is my guru and he had such a devotion for tirunavakara sir he named his children tirunavakara navakara sir he named his uh, uh, you know the cows he even named them tirunavakara sir he had a you know what we call as tannir pandal in tamil right in the, in those days along the side of the highways or the roads that people used to travel up from place to place they will put up a small watering place where they will have water and uh, buttermilk or something they will be distributing to the uh, travelers so this is one of those kind of uh, services that they used to do like giving uh, anadanam they will give have watering stations where they will give water to passers by and he even named those as tirunavakara sir tannir pandal so this is how he was and one day he has never met tirunavakara sir so all he knows is his name is greatness and tirunavakara sir doesn't even know about him so that is how it was and after several years right maybe 5 years 6 years tirunavakara sir happened to come along that side on a pilgrimage tour and he came and uh, uh saw you know came to this watering place and uh, he found that it was written with his name tirunavakara sir tannir pandal so he was a bit puzzled so he asked the person who was uh, uh, giving water there and said you know who who set up this place and uh, why did you know he says you know this is this was set up by a great person called apudi he is a brahmin he his place is uh, nearby he was he just left for his home so if you go this way you, this is the location where he lives so tirunavakara sir goes to the apudi's place and when he is standing there outside you know apudi comes out he finds a, a shiva devotee with the rudraksham vibhuti and all that thing right so he says a great shiva devotee has come he doesn't know who he is but he is a shiva devotee so like he invi- welcomes all shiva devotees he does pada puja and uh, welcomes him and uh, says you know please come and uh, tinavagara sir uh, asks him you know i have a question to ask you so he says please ask me what do you what is the question you know you have set up uh, you are doing a lot of good things but uh, why did you instead of your name you know you are, you are they say that you are apudi instead of putting your name on the watering uh, place you have put some other name what is the deal here and at that question apudi becomes livid with anger with uh, you know he is upset is livid with anger he says you look like a shiva devotee don't you know about tirunavakara sir and how dare you say that his name as a some other name instead of saying tirunavakara sir you are calling that as some other name what can you do this so he gets very upset are you really a shiva devotee who are you where are you from <laughs> so at that point tirunavakara sir uh, explains to him that you know i am the uh, lowly person who was uh, stuck in the jainism for so many years and with shiva's grace i have been saved so 
then that's only when Apudi knows that Trinavakrasir has come to his place. So he was, oh, you know, you can imagine from anger, he goes to the other extreme of joy. So he invites him, he, uh, they all, you know, he calls, his, uh, calls out his wife, calls out his children, they all fall at his feet, they invite him and then they you know, request him to have lunch with them. He agrees. And then when the lunch is all done and uh, the, the, uh, his wife tells, him, tells one of her older son to go to the backyard and uh, cut banana leaves for them. So he goes, cuts the banana leaves and he is bit, bitten by a cobra. So he comes running, gives the banana leaves to his mother and then falls down in the backyard. Then mother knows that looking at his symptom, he is dying because of cobra's bite. So she calls out, uh, no, she goes to, you know, quietly brings uh, her husband. They both roll the son's body in a mat, put it somewhere in a corner in the backyard and they go back and act as if nothing has happened. Because if, if they announce that their son has died, then nobody will eat at their place after that and Trinavakrasir will not have lunch at their place. So they want Trinavakrasir to have lunch at their place. So they quietly hide him and act as if nothing has happened and they pl place the man Ma play, plays the banana leaves and uh, serve lunch and invite Trinavakrasar to sit down. So Trinavakrasar comes, sits down and before he says, you know, uh, something uh, troubles him. So he says, you know, he starts giving vibhuti to all the people, says, you know, before eating lunch. And then uh, he, uh, Apudi comes, his wife comes, his other kids come. Then Trinavakrasar says, you know, where is your first son? Call him. I want to give him vibhuti too. Then uh, he says that, you know, he's, uh, he cannot come here right now, Let, but let's have lunch. Then Trinavakarasar feels something not right. He says, what happened? Why cannot he come? What did he do? What happened? Tell me the truth. So when Trinavakarasar says, tell me the truth, Apudi cannot lie. So Apudi tells him that this is what happened. He is dead. And Trinavakarasar was shocked. How can, a, how can parents lose their son, oldest son, young son, and still act as if nothing has happened? He was amazed at their uh, level of devotion they, they had for him. So he goes, picks up the son, brings him to the local temple, keeps the uh, body outside the temple, and then sings one padigam for Shiva, pra requesting Shiva, you know, praising Shiva and says, you know, how can you do this? to your devotee. And at the end of the Padigam, that dead son comes up back to life. And of course, Apudi and his wife are overjoyed. They thought that the son had died. Now he has come back from death. They are overjoyed. And then they request that, you know, Trinagrasur to come and have lunch and apologizing to him, saying that, you know, because of their son, his lunch has been delayed. So I'm telling you this story. This comes in Periyapuranam. If you know, the, there's a movie called Thiruvarut Chalvar. There's a clip depicting this episode in that movie too. Anyway, the reason why I'm saying is the fact that if you are in the company of devotees, good things will happen to us. So I was just giving it as an example of Appu Diyadigal who took Trinavakarasar as his guru mentally and worshipped him. And that helped him reach the greatness and because of that he is listed as one of the 63 nine Mars. So that is giving an example. There are other devotees who have held on to other devotees. Anyway, the reason why I am saying is that Satsangam is something very important and that is what he is saying and he is saying that I do not even know where they live. Forget about it. Only if I know, I will think of even going there. right? I do not even know where they live. So I am I am such a low person. That is how he is describing. And the next one he is saying is Virupodu un cigaramum balam varigilan. I don't circumambulate your hills with love. And again, this is something, one of the traditions. Uh, we know that we go around uh, the, the Sannidhi, the Prakarams in the temples. But in the context of hill temples, devotees 
do circumambulation of the hill too. Those who have, if you have been to Thiruvannamalai, you know that Girivalam in Thiruvannamalai is very famous. Many devotees will go around the Thiruvannamalai hill. It's about uh, 14 or 15 kilometers circumference. So they go around the temple and on Pavarnavi days in Thiruvannamalai, close to about 100,000 people come and do this Pradakshinam of the hill on that night, Pavarnavi night. Like that, the, they do circum, uh, circumambulation of other temples, other hill temples. And that's what he's saying. Even in Tiruparangundram, where this song is sung, there is a tradition of going around the temple, the hill. So that's what he's saying. Virupodu un sigaramum valam variglan. I don't circumambulate your hills with love. And the third one, the final one he says is, Uvapodu un pugar tudi saya I don't even... Think of joy, praising your glory with joy. So there are two things, right? One is to action. The other is the thought to, for doing that action. Sometimes we, we don't even think of doing it, right? First the thought has to come. And then when the time comes or when we have the ability, we can do the action. So sometimes we don't have the ability to act, but we have the thought. Like, you know, sometimes we say, you know, I want to help people. But when I have enough money, I can help people. I don't have money right now. I'm whatever poor. So I can only think of helping them. But when the time comes, when I have money, I can help others. Like that. First is the thought. So that's what he's saying. I don't even think about praising your glory with love. So all these things is describing. And because I don't do any of these, I'm not a devotee. And if I'm a devotee, I know that you will say, and I don't have to suffer at the hands of the Lord of Death, Yama. But I am not a devotee, so I will be suffering at the hands of Yama. So that's what the second line is talking about the Yama's uh, arrival. Malai pole kanaitthu yedum pagadadu pidarmasai varu karutta venjila marali. He is describing Yama's coming. How is Yama? Marali is Yama. And is Venjina Marali. Means Yama is always described as very angry. Because Yama comes to take the lives of sinners. And he is going to take them and give them trouble. So you cannot torture somebody. If you are happy, right? You have to be angry at them. Only then you can give them trouble. So, Yama is always described as angry. So, Venjina Marali. Angry Yama. And how is he? He comes on a buffalo bull. Pagadu is a buffalo bull. It can also mean male elephant, male bull, uh, whatever, male cow. But in this case, it is a buffalo bull. And how is that buffalo bull? It is like a big hill, Malai Bole. So the buffalo bull that Yama comes in, rides on, looks like a big mountain. It's like a hill, such a huge buffalo. And it is roaring. Kanaitth Yerum. Kanaitthal means to roar, to bellow. You know how the angry buffalo bulls will bellow. So that's what he's referring to. Yama, angry Yama, comes on riding on a big bellowing buffalo bull. The pitter misa means is sitting on the riding on the top of its neck. The buffalo's neck is sitting on the neck of the buffalo. So that's how the Yama comes and then Maralitan Urainar. Urainar means servants. The servants of Yama, what are they doing? Kaditthu, Adarndu, Eri, Kairu, Adu, Kadegodu, Purubode. They come, they all surround him, right? Yama doesn't come alone. Yama also doesn't come for ordinary people. For most people, Yama's servants come and take us away. Only if somebody is very, you know, big, big special case, Yama will come. For otherwise, Yama's servants will come. So that's what I think. Maralitan Urayina, the Yama's servants, 
கதித்து அடர்ந்து தே கம் ஸ்விஃப்ட்லி அண்ட் தே சரவுண்ட் மீ அடர்ந்து தென் எரி கயிறு எரி கயிறு இஸ் நூஸ் அடு கதை அடு கதை இஸ் த கதா தட் தே ஹேவ் இன் தர் மேஸ் தட் தே ஹேவ் இன் தர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ த எமாஸ் சர்வன்ஸ் க்ளோஸ்லி சரவுண்ட் இம் க்ளோஸ்லி அண்ட் தென் யூசிங் தர் நூஸ் அண்ட் தர் மேஸ் தே ஆர் கோயிங் டு கில் இம் அண்ட் டேக் இம் அவே பொறு போதே தே அட்டாக் இம் பொறுதல் மீன்ஸ் டு அட்டாக் பொறு போதே மீன்ஸ் வென் த எமாஸ் சர்வன்ஸ் கம் அண்ட் அட்டாக் மீ வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் கலக்கு உரும் செயல் ஒழி வர தே வில் பி கண்டினியூஸ்லி அட்டாக்கிங் மீ லைக் திஸ் அண்ட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஐ வில் பி ஹைலி பெட்டர்ட் ஐ வில் பி ஹைலி டிஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன் மை மைண்ட் அழிவு ஒரு கருத்து நைந்து ஐ வில் பி ஹேவிங் லாட் ஆஃப் ஃபியர் ஐ வில் பி ஹேவிங் லாட் ஆஃப் பெயின் ஐ வில் பி இன் கிரேட் மிசரி அண்ட் டிஸ்ட்ரெஸ் அலம் ஒரு பொழுது அலம் இஸ் மிசரி அண்ட் டிஸ்ட்ரெஸ் when i am in great misery and distress alavaigol kanathil en bayamara mail mudugil varuvaye within an instant kanam is kshanam in tamil kshana is the sanskrit word kshanam in tamil it becomes as kanam so kanathil en bayamara within an instant you should come dispelling my fear en bayamara மயில் முதுகினில் வருவாயே யூ ஷுட் கம் ரைடிங் ஆன் த பேக் ஆஃப் யுவர் பீகாக் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் சேங் இஸ் ஐ ஹவ் நாட் டன் எனி ஆஃப் திஸ் குட் திங்ஸ் தட் டிவோட் இஸ் டூ பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு பி சஃபரிங் அட் த ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் யமா அண்ட் இஸ் சர்வன்ஸ் அண்ட் வென் ஐ எம் இன் தட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ சுச்சுவேஷன் பிஃபோர் தே கேன் கம் அண்ட் கிராப் மீ ப்ளீஸ் கம் ஆன் த பேக் ஆஃப் யூர் ரைடிங் ஆன் யுவர் பீகாக் அண்ட் சேவ் மீ தட் இஸ் இஸ் ரெக்வஸ்ட் So that is the first half of this song. I have been talking for a while. Any comments, questions? Okay. Then the third line. Vinay thalam danil alagegal kudhi kola vidukkuda indhumai ugutase kalluguna viritta kunjiyar enum avunara yamar puri vela. So he is describing the battle scene. You know in most Thirupavar songs battles with asuras will be described because that is the main reason why subramanya was given right by shiva so he is describing the battle scene here vinay thalam danil means in the battle field alagaigal kudigola with the goblins and demons dancing because these dance because in a battle field a lot of people will be killed and there will be a lot of dead bodies and the traditional account is that these demons and goblins feast on the dead bodies so they are all happy that they are going to get a big feast so they are all dancing in joy alagegal kudigola the demons and goblins are dancing in joy and what happens vidukku udaindhu mei ugudasai kalugu una so the bodies fall down and then the limbs splatter the inner uh, the all the organs split out and the fat and uh, flesh is strewn all over the battlefield and the vultures and the eagles are enjoying them that's what this part of the line is saying vidukku udaindhu mei ugu thasai kalugu una kalugu is vultures and eagles and they are all eating the flesh of the bodies that are strewn all over the battlefield and the third line viritta kunjiyar enum avunarai amar puri vela the vela is o subramanya the one who has the veil and you are fighting the you fought the asuras who are known as the ones who don't tie their hair viritta kunjiyar means those who do not tie their hair again this is talking about the uh, general depiction of description of how the asuras are you know they they are shown with uh, usually asuras are shown uh, with uh, dark bodies and uh, hair that is untied there will be spread out hair so basically trying to say that you know they are uh, uncultured and that kind of thing 
so that is how is describing that viritta kunjar those who have not tied their hair those hair as hair is spread out those asuras you fought and puri vela vela means one who has the veil ayudam and he is also the husband of valli so in this he is describing valli he is describing that he is the husband of valli in the next part of the song migutta pan payil kuyil moli alagiya kodichi that is what description of valli so migutta pan payil kuyil moli so valli is described as having a very nice voice very melodious voice so kuyil moli means having a voice like a kuyil kuyil is the cuckoo bird so like a, she has got a sweet melodious voice like a cuckoo bird the pan payil means pan is the tamil word for ragam so pan payil means which is melodious musical cuckoo like voice kodichi is a girl who grew up in the hilly tracks you know the valli you know that in the last time when we talked we talked about devayane who was raised as the daughter of indra valli is raised as the daughter of a forest hunter tribe so he is describing her as a the girl who grew up in the hills migutta pan payil kuyil moli alagiya the beautiful kodichi the beautiful valli her kunguma mulai mugadu ulu so he, subramanya is the husband of valli so he is describing her beautiful breasts are rubbing on your shoulders shoulder means here the by arms valli is beautiful breasts are rubbing against your arms and his arms are described in the next line viraitha chandana mrugamada puya varai odayone so basically in this poetry you will find that the kind of beautification alankaram that people do they will be also described as the gods having so it is describing subramanya whose arms are having the uh, adorned with sandalwood paste and kasturi so chandaram is sandalwood paste mrugamadam is kasturi mrugam is deer mrugamadam is the fragrant substance that we get from a, a deer called kasturi <coughs> and <coughs> these two he has applied on his arms and puyam is the tamil form of bujam the upper arm vara is rock or a hill so it is again traditional to describe the arm of a man as very strong rock like and so on and so forth so he is saying subramanya you have rock like arms against which the beautiful breasts of valli are rubbing against meaning he is the husband of valli so we have covered three fourths of the song now we are going to look at the last part of the song and then we'll hear the <coughs> uh, musical rendition of this so is subramanya is also worshiped by brahma and uh, devas and uh, rishis so he is describing that in the next part of the song tinattinam chatur marai muni murai godu punal sorindu alar podiya that means is describing brahma worshiping subramanya chatur marai muni means the the sage who knows all the four vedas this is brahma so brahma dinat tinattinam means daily dinam dinam daily murai god properly punal sorind pouring water alar podiye and pouring putting flowers so brahma is worshiping subramanya daily in a proper way doing pujas using uh, you know abhishekam with water and uh, pujing doing puja with flowers so subra brahma is doing all that and vinavarod vinavar is devas vinavarod 
தேவாசார் ஆல்சோ ஒர்ஷிப்பிங் சிவம் சுப்பிரமணிய சினத்தை நிந்தனை செய்யும் முனிவரர் தொழ மகிழ்வோனே அண்ட் முனிவரர் முனிவரர் மீன்ஸ் த கிரேட் ரிஷிஸ் கிரேட் சேஜஸ் ஹவ் ஆர் தே சினத்தை நிந்தனை செய்யும் முனிவரர் தீஸ் சேஜஸ் ஹாவ் கிவன் அப் ஆன் ஆங்கர் தே ஹாவ் கிவன் அப் ஆங்கர் ரைட் வி நோ தட் தெர் ஆர் டூ திங்ஸ் தெர் ஆர் வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு கெட் ஆஃப் காமம் அண்ட் ஆங்கர் த த டிசையர் அண்ட் ஆங்கர் ஆர் டூ திங்ஸ் தட் ஆர் வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு கெட் இட் ஆஃப் தட்ஸ் வை ஈவன் யூனோ இந்த சந்தியா இந்த உபாகர்மம் டைம் வி டூ திஸ் காமா காஷித் மஞ்சுர காஷித் நமோ நம காமா காஷித் ஜபம் தட்ஸ் அகெயின் காமா அண்ட் மன்யூஹு ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் சேயிங் தட் சினத்தை நிந்தனை செய்யும் முனிவர் மீன்ஸ் தீஸ் கிரேட் சேஜஸ் ஹூ ஹாவ் நோ ஆங்கர் இன் தம் மீன்ஸ் தே நெவர் கெட் ஆங்கிரி த சச் சேஜஸ் they all worship subramanya and subramanya is pleased with their worship that is that part then the final part of the song talks about the fact that tiruparanga tiruparangundram has got a lot of uh, groves flowers in their uh, groves in the surrounding it and there are uh, bees that are humming around and buzzing around and uh, drinking honey and they are all very happy then then is the sound effect it is not a word it is the, the sound that the bees make when they fly a buzz around the flowers so then 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 yana vari ali vari ali means the bees that have striped stripes on their body you know if you look at the bees you will find that some of them will have markings like stripes on their body so that's what is describing vari ali the bees that have stripes on their body நரை தெவிட்ட அன்போடு பருகு நரை இஸ் ஹனி இன் த ஃப்ளவர் த நெக்டர் இன் த ஃப்ளவர் இஸ் கால்டு நரை ஸோ தீஸ் பீஸ் ஆர் ட்ரிங்கிங் த நெக்டர் இன் த ஃப்ளவர்ஸ் ஹவு மச் தெவிட்ட அன்போடு பருகு அன்பு மீன்ஸ் வித் தி என்ஜாய் தே லைக் தெவிட்ட மீன்ஸ் டு ஃபீல் சாட்டிஸ்ஃபை ஸோ வென் யூ ஆர் ஈட்டிங் சம்திங் அட் சம் பாயிண்ட் இன் டைம் வி பிகம் ஃபுல் அண்ட் வி கான்ட் ஈட் எனி மோர் so that is what i saying tevitta anbodu means they they are they drink to their hearts content the nectar in the flower we are poril tegal such tall groves surround tiruparangiridanil in the tiruparangundram urai you dwell saravana o saravana perumale o great lord so what he saying is திருப்பரங்குன்றம் has tall groves surrounding it where there are lot of flowers and the bees are buzzing around and drinking the nectar happily to their hearts content and subramanya dwells in that tiruparangundram o subramanya you are worshiped by vishnu uh, not you are worshiped by brahma uh, devas and other sages you are the husband of valli i have not you, you have you have uh, fought the asuras and destroyed them and i have not done any of the seven acts of devotion that devotees do because of that i am not a devotee and because i am not a devotee of your i would be attacked by the yamadutas at the end of my life and i will suffer greatly at their hands but i don't want to suffer so please come and save me at that time that is the gist of this song so any comments questions discussions feel free
Yeah. So, so what happens is that uh, you know the the God experience and the devotees experience are sort of you can say it's uh, similar or common or universal, right? So their f- feelings that they have and the expression they have, they will have similarities, whether it is uh, whatever language it is, uh, whatever times they may be, and so the true saints sometimes feeling that you know they have not done proper things and they have wasted their time and uh, they are not fit for his mercy or but still he is so great he will come and save them so that kind of uh, talk or uh, expressions will come in different songs and in this case we know that arunagirinathar we know that he has sung this song right just this song itself is such a great song how can he say that he is not a devotee so what this means is that he is thinking about the time that this is my interpretation okay he is thinking about that time in early part of his life when he has spent many years in worldly life pursuing uh, material wealth going after women wasting his time not thinking about la god or thinking about spirituality he is looking back and he is saying that he has wasted all his time so he, this is how i see it and similarly in tirunavakar sir songs you will find some verses of that kind where he will say that you know i have spent so much of my wasted so much of my time so much of my life not worshiping you and he will say those kind of things i have not done this i have not done this so when they go through these kind of emotional states where they say that you know they are great but internally they feel that you know they could have they should have done better they should have, they have not done anything great so that's that's a, how i see that but as you said you know durjati or other saints could have also have similar uh, thoughts expressed in their verses yeah any other comment okay so so rama we have two choices you know either you can uh, say the whole thing or you want to just listen to the musical version of the song and then practice it on your own later yeah okay. no, no 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 what we will do is we will listen to the song and then uh, later you know at some other time you know maybe you and i can uh, have a call and then we can uh, say it that way we, i can uh, refine your uh, places where you have issues okay let's listen to the musical rendition so this one was uh, uh, yeah this one was sung by pitukuli murugadas and his team is a great singer is a great singer you may have heard of his name Oh, okay good good yeah yeah i know that uh, i i will uh, send you the clip but but anyway the other vodu are singing this clip is there on the kaumaram site yeah okay no problem yeah we are at the end of the session anyway so we will conclude here and uh, next week we will meet on uh, regular time and uh, we will uh, take up uh, the namachivaya padigam uh, panchakshara padigam okay Thir- oh, no no bro. okay tiruchitrambalam 